Hi guys, so it's been two weeks since I got back from my ayahuasca experience and I wanna share everything with you in this video. Now I'm gonna share all about the incredible ceremony experience, but first I wanna tell you a little bit about the resort that I chose to go to to have this experience. The difference between like going into the jungle to do this medicine and then going to somewhere like Rhythmia is obviously great if you want to go into the jungle and experience plant medicine with shamans like that is incredible and i think there's that's amazing right but rhythmia you still have all these incredible shamans but you are in a bigger group and you have um the safety and the comfort and the luxury of being in an incredible resort feeling very well looked after having you know beautiful room beautiful pool, restaurant, massages, colonics, like mud baths, like you're really taken care of, which I think is a really good idea if it's your first time doing ayahuasca. There is a lot <laughs> and I almost like don't really know where to start. I think I wanna start by telling you about Rhythmia itself as a company and just letting you know that if you are interested in taking this journey for yourself, Rhythmia is just such an incredible company to do it with. Um, you really are in such safe hands with them. From the moment that we left the airport, they picked us up in their Rhythmia car, there was someone there to greet us, we had a video inside the car telling us what to expect. When we got there, we were greeted with the most warm, beautiful souls that just let us feel so safe and so at home and made us feel so at ease. It was really like that for the entire week. I could not fault their services, their staff, their, just their intention and their love behind everything they do. It really does feel like an incredible family. So there's a lot to be said for having these kind of experiences in comfort, in safety, and this resort literally is gorgeous. Like, you're just really looked after the whole entire time. You, you could not want for more. So I wanna just start with that and let you know that you're really in safe hands. The other thing that I wanna let you know is that like over the whole week, there are so many workshops for you so that you can really learn more about plant medicine, about ayahuasca, why we're doing it, like what the spiritual benefits are, what the scientific benefits are, like what the science is behind it, what is going on with your brain when you are in that ceremony space. And I found those workshops so powerful and so helpful because again, it just makes you feel so at ease with what you're doing, so safe, so provided for. There were so many opportunities throughout the entire week to ask as many questions as you had. So you are not going into it blind. You are going into it so prepared, so educated, knowing exactly what you're all doing and why you're all doing it. Um, they're really big on your intentions at Rhythmia um, because setting your intention before you take the medicine is extremely, extremely important. In fact, that will literally impacts your whole journey. So they teach you exactly how to do this, they give you examples of what to use, and they really guide you on your journey. So after each ceremony, you have the space to ask as many questions as you like, to share, to cry, to laugh, to heal. The group environment, you know, you're with people from literally all over the world that, that are coming to this center for their own individual and independent reasons, but you feel just so comfortable with each other and so able to share. And I feel like the people that I met at Rhythmia, I now have this soul connection with, and I'm hoping that we will just stay in touch for a long time. We've all got a WhatsApp group now that we all chat in every day. And it's just so great to like, be able to support others in their journey and receive that support as well because we've all been on such an incredible transformation together. So yeah, the workshops are incredible. As well as the workshop, there is your breathwork classes, there are your yoga classes. There is so much to do and the breathwork I found extremely powerful. Everything is set up to complement your journey with ayahuasca, which is so unlike other um, places or settings you know, you could go and take ayahuasca with a group of friends in someone's living room 
and there would be no ceremonial aspect to it. There would be no um, intention setting. There would be none of the setup. And I think the setup is so important. Everything in Rhythmia is set up for you to have the most powerful, deep, transformative experience possible. I felt like I just wanted to be present. So um, I knew that I, I brought all these stresses with me, you know, as, as I do every time I go on vacation, I brought the stress of, is my business gonna be okay if I take a week off? Are my team okay? Can they look after themselves? Do they know what to do? Um, is it safe for me to disconnect from Wi-Fi so that I can be here? Um, you know, I was worried about various different things. I was worried about Christmas was coming. I was worried about my to-do list. I was worried about money. Like I had all of these stresses that I, that I came with. But from the moment that I got there and felt so welcomed, I realized, okay, I just need to put all of those stresses and those worries to one side. And I decided to just completely switch off my phone. I didn't even connect to the Wi-Fi, like I completely switched off and it was so good for me. I don't think I've actually done that since I started my business like seven years ago, like properly switched off for an entire week. But I just wanted to be completely present and I knew for me that if I was on social media documenting the entire experience or even just messaging people back home, it would take me out of what I came here for. Completely switch off from the outside world so that you can be present with everything that is going on for you because things come up for you throughout the entire week, not just during the ceremony. Things will come up in the mornings, in the afternoons, in your dreams, in conversations with other people, things will come up and you wanna make sure that you're not missing anything. You wanna make sure that everything that comes up you are processing, you're writing down, you're able to really feel and be with. If you're there on your phone, getting people's numbers or storying the whole thing, like it's gonna take away from your experience. So I'd really recommend that you switch off and use the opportunity to really, really connect with nature, connect with you and connect with what the medicine is is bringing through for you. And I'm so pleased that I went with Rick, uh, my partner, and shared it with him because it was such a profound transformation and it was so special to share it with the person that I love the most. Like to go through that journey together was so powerful and so healing. And I think I would have, it's hard to explain it to someone else. So I think if you go with a partner, if, you, if your partner is on board, it's so, magic to share that with each other. The mission that Rhythmia are on is literally the most important mission of the planet right now, is to really help us heal. Help us heal from sickness and disease that is created ultimately from us disconnecting from spirit, disconnecting from our soul. And Rhythmia really just like gets you into alignment with your soul um, in a way that talking about it cannot do. Um, you know, I'm sure, you know, you may have heard that ayahuasca, you know, is supposed to be like 10 years of therapy in, in one ceremony. I think that's right. Because there's only so far that talking about things can get you. With using plant medicine, it really takes you into a deeper part of your brain. It takes you into the limbic brain. It takes you into the primal brain. And it, it really does change neural pathways without you trying to change them. It's really incredibly powerful. You know, after my experiences, I had brand new thoughts that I'd never thought before. I feel completely different towards certain patterns in my life. I feel differently towards social media. I feel differently towards um, alcohol. I feel differently towards just certain things that I was doing or reading or talking about that now I feel, I just feel in a different space and it's hard to explain but something has shifted that I'm not even fully consciously aware of. But it's so deep that it's happened and I feel completely different in different aspects and areas of my life. Our relationship feels different. We feel, there feels more love, just wholesome connection and love. We, we don't have as much friction as there might have been before. We don't find each other being triggered by the same things that we used to. Um, we feel a lot closer and I think really on the medicine, it, the medicine shows you who you really are at a soul level. And that is that we're all, we're all connected and we're all pure love. We're all part of this incredible cosmic universe and it really just opens you up and, and kind of shows you who you are, what you're here to do, who you're here to be. 
And if I had any doubt before that I was on or not on my soul path, this would have completely eradicated all of that. Um, and it really gets you into alignment. Um, so yeah, for me, during my actual ceremonies, I know you probably want to know like what happened, like that, that the questions that I had when I was watching these videos before I came, I was like, but what happened? What did you see? Like, what are the specifics? The medicine gives you exactly what you need at the time that you need it. So don't compare your experience and your journey to everyone else in the group, because some people are going to have these crazy cosmic life-changing journeys where they see all these incredible visions, they get spoken to by God, you know, and, and, and people are literally having these wild, like crazy experiences. And then some people are having experiences where they are purging a lot, where they are sweating a lot, and where they are not getting the vision. I find it really challenging to not compare my journey to other people's journeys. And if I, I did see visions and I purged a lot, um, but I found it really challenging to sit and listen to everyone else's and not go, oh, mine should have been like that. Why wasn't mine like that? Um, so I wanna just warn you of that. Like, just try and accept what you are given is exactly what you need to heal. Everyone is there with, with a completely different intention, right? Some people are literally coming to Rhythmia in a state of crisis. They need a breakthrough. Um, in fact, I would say a lot of people are there for that reason. Um, and some people are just coming to explore and everyone gets what they need. So um, for me, I had some visions that were really powerful. I met some of my spirit animals. I kind of saw animals uh, that I had lived lives as, which blew my mind because I, whenever I'd listen to people talk about spirit animals before, I would always kind of be a bit like, yeah, whatever, <laughs> it didn't really speak to me. But I literally felt my spirit animals, several of them, but especially a jaguar that just kept coming to me and guiding me. In all of my ceremonies, I felt love. Everything that I was being shown in the visions made me feel connected, made me feel loved, made me feel safe. I received a message from my grandma who passed. I spent time with the spirit of my dad who also passed, um, which was really special for me. I really felt his energy with me. I had downloads, I had messages come through. I saw things that I couldn't make sense of, but then wrote them down and could make sense of later. I experienced different emotions come up where I would, where I would purge. So I was sick, but I would, when you're, when you're throwing up, it doesn't feel like, you don't feel gross or vile or disgusting. You, you don't feel sick, you feel like, something needed to come out. So something comes out and then you immediately feel better for it. So some of the things that I was vomiting up, you can actually ask the medicine, what is this that I'm purging? And um, for me, I was purging, um, at one point I purged pain from my ancestors in the, female, in the female lineage for me. So I purged this pain, but it wasn't my pain, it was pain from my mum, pain from my grandma. And it, it, I f you, know, you know that because it, you feel that that's what it is when you're throwing it up. Another another time I purged um, like shame sexually that I had um, around particular, particular things in my life. I felt like I was yawning and different things were being purged as I was yawning. There was so much happened and it's hard to put it into words. But yeah, it was very visual for me and I did purge a lot. Not everyone has those experiences. Some people didn't purge at all. Um, some people had a ton more visions than I did. And for a lot of people, they went through hell in their ceremonies. They had a lot of um, stuff to work through in their ceremonies. Now that wasn't my experience. I, whatever I experienced was just pure love. It felt um, like I was observing a lot of information. And another thing that it, another thing that it does, that it did for me on my last ceremony was it took me back to a particular memory in my life when I was younger. And this is a memory that I had literally locked away for years, completely forgotten about, completely forgotten about. And when I would remember it in my conscious mind, I didn't think it was relevant or particularly particularly important, but the medicine showed me how it was an important memory and almost like helped me 
adjust that memory so that I could feel more at peace with it or more aware of what actually happened. You might get shown things by the medicine, like old memories that you have shut away in, in a place that you wanna forget about and the medicine will bring that memory forward for you. Uh, but it's not to traumatize you, it's to help you heal it, help you see it, help you learn from it. And I found that incredibly powerful. So I've been sharing my rhythmic experience with my family, um, and I actually feel that maybe one day in the future they might actually join me at rhythmia, which I'm really hoping. Um, but everyone has to arrive at this journey in their own time. Since I got back, I've also experienced tons more downloads since I left Rhythmia. So I got back and I was having these crazy dreams that felt like ceremonies and getting these downloads in my dreams that did not come from me, <laughs> come from somewhere higher, these, these spiritual messages that are coming through in dreams. And still now, like two weeks later, I'm finding that I'm sleeping a lot. I feel like my body is still processing what has gone on. Certainly for me and, 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 and certainly for Rick, who had such powerful life-changing experiences in his ceremonies, we have obviously been able to experience those together and have those breakthroughs together. Um, and we are now starting to figure out how we can change our life as a couple to reflect what we learned in ceremony and what we now have to integrate. So one of the things that, that's really come through for me is just how, well, for both of us, just how connected we are to nature. And when we aren't in that connection with nature, we are disconnected from who we really are. It's so important that we actually spend time in nature. I've come back to my life and there are certain things that I'm like, that's not important anymore. You know, certain things that I was doing that actually I've realized isn't important. I care way less about certain things that I was doing in work. I care way less about, I guess, money and um, materialistic things. I feel like it's like realigned my values with who I really am and just accelerated my process in getting there. And things that are now feeling out of alignment need to drop away and that's now where my work begins or our work begins because we now have to really look at our life and go what's now not in alignment and how can we allow that to drop so that we can move forward to our next level, our next stage. Um, so that's where we're at now, which is super, super exciting. This is super fresh because I'm literally two weeks out, but in another six, seven months, I know that my, our life is gonna look completely different because of the changes that, we've, that we will have made since Rhythmia. So I'm just super grateful to everyone at Rhythmia. I cannot thank you guys enough and I would so recommend going. I definitely, definitely will be returning. I guess I'm just like seeing things a lot more clearly. I'm able to discern more where things are coming from ego or fear or judgment and where things are really coming from my soul. I'm really feeling strongly about sharing this message of helping people in a way that is communicating what it really is and what it really does and how powerful it is. Uh, because at the end of the day, these medicines are literally grown in nature for us. They are not something that man is going and taking and, you know, changing. It is not a drug. It is a powerful medicine that Mother Earth has provided to us. And I really do believe strongly that everyone should have access to these healing modalities. If anyone has any questions, I'd be more than happy to uh, answer them. Be trusting, be in surrender, because what you're gonna get is gonna just blow your mind and, and help connect you with who you really are.